The discussion around mental health is definitely on the forefront for a lot of families. And joining us right now live in the studio is Sweetser's president and CEO, Jan Van Bramer. Jane, thank you so much for joining us today and continuing to have these really important conversations. So what can you tell us, what is really being done right now to kind of help people directly and indirectly impacted by this tragedy, by this, you know, continuing kind of stress that we're under with all this mental health support that we need, what can be done? Sure, well, we are meeting the moment and we are mobilizing and coordinating all our available resources and staff to meet the need in the Lewiston area. What does that mean? Well, we are redeploying crisis staff to the areas that are most needed. We're authorizing overtime and we're working very closely with our community providers and other behavioral health organizations to make sure that we are making the best use of services. Um, Sweetser is the largest provider of crisis mobile services in the state. And what that means is we will come to you. So if you need help, whether it's in your home, at work, in a doctor's office, under a bridge, in a park, in a school, we will come to you, um, call the crisis number. We will send a trained professional who will help determine what level of care you might need on an ongoing basis, if any but also develop a safety plan and we will follow up with you to make sure that you're okay. Um, you know, it's also important to keep in mind that not everybody is in crisis, but some of us really do need someone just to talk through to and to process our feelings and emotions and frankly, the collective trauma we're all feeling. So one of our great services is what's called an intentional warm line. And this is a 24 seven phone number that you can call and talk to someone who's in their own mental health recovery. But they will help you process what you're experiencing and to really work through it. You know, I, I do think it's important to keep in mind that, you know, we do need to take care of each other and we need to kind of disconnect from some of all this stuff. It is a lot that we're encountering. That's very good advice. And I know, you know, this is obviously affecting families, but it's affecting a lot of professionals as well. There are people on the front lines um, that are hearing all these conversations, having to cope with some of the things that are happening. So how are professionals coping at this time, at this very difficult time? You know, we're all human, it's true, regardless of our background or our role or our personal experience, this is hitting all of us. I, I do think, you know, we are trained to deal with traumatic situations, but I also think it's important for us to take care of each other, whether you're a professional or whether you're a family member. I've been hearing a lot and it is great advice for us to remind folks to reach out to coworkers, reach out to family members, reach out to neighbors, and just simply ask, are you okay? Is there anything you, I can do for you? That also helps yourself. It really is self-help. And you know, as we've talked about, you know, really controlling what you can control, whether it's deciding to go to bed an hour early or deciding to turn off the news and watching Cinderella. <laughs> I, I do think it's important to kind of disconnect, control what you can control. Important when you said reach out, that's where it starts. Reach out, absolutely. Well, Jane, thank you so much for joining us and having that conversation. So important now and in the coming days. Thank you. We'll